Well, Feng Shui yourself to better health and success. Today is International Feng Shui Awareness Day, and we're helping you reach a better understanding of this ancient art and science. And joining us this morning is the author of Feng Shui for Dummies. It's David Daniel Kennedy, who's been on our show several times. Good, Good to see you. Good morning. Welcome back. Do you find that in general uh, more people, because uh, five, six years ago, I, I really didn't know what feng shui was, yeah. hadn't heard of it. Now it's sort of become like this lifestyle that is really uh, uh, it's getting to a lot of people. People who weren't convinced before are now changing because of it. A lot of business people are doing it, um, Hollywood stars, ordinary people. It's really spreading. And in the last five years, over 300 books have been printed on feng shui. What is feng shui? What's the basis behind feng shui? Well, the idea of feng shui is that your environment has a very profound impact, not just on your aesthetics, but also on your success and your income and your health. Right, and it goes back to uh, what, uh, what civilization? Where did this all start? started in China mm -hmm. about 2,000 years ago, and they recorded a lot of things over the years, and now we're trying to apply that to the West, and people are finding some pretty great success with it. You do a lot of things with fire and water, right? We work with all the elements. We bring in the plants and the water and the fire, as you said, and the wind, and we try to make sure the natural energy outside is good and also it's nourishing inside as well. How about for a little, because we have, I know there are a lot of skeptics out there who are saying, oh, come on, it doesn't really matter where you put your bed or what corner the high chair's in. How do you sort of convince skeptics that, you know, if you give this a shot, this may work for you? Well, the only way is just to try it. I mean, a lot of people have found that if their back is to the door when they're sitting at their desk, that they're not as aware in their career. When they turn their desk around, they find themselves getting new deals and even a promotion. So the proof is in the pudding. I say anything that brings wealth, health, and happiness to your life, why not, why not play with it? Just go ahead and bring it in. What are some other things? I heard something about don't have the stairs facing out of your doors. Your when you go into your house? When you walk right in, yeah. having a stairway facing the door is a big problem because the energy coming down the stairs can reject money out of your house symbolically, so it's recommended not to do that. Or if you do have it there, to place a, a wind chime in between to disperse that energy and keep it inside your right, house. Right, because some people can't change the way that their stairs are right. <laughs> set up, so yeah, put a wind chime. Do you find that some people are just naturally good at feng shui where you'd walk in the house and, and it would be set up exactly the way you would set it up. And I wonder if, if, if they're naturally good at it, is it something that's sort of internal? I don't want to say psychic, but something that's more spiritual that they already have. Once in a while you'll find a person that's kind of in tune with their own nature and with their house and they've set things up very well. And Maybe not consciously. Exactly. But unconsciously they've done it. Right. That's right. We've asked our viewers to uh, fax in any of their floor plans that they have or any questions that they have about feng shui. I kind of uh, drew a little floor plan in my house. And uh, please, I apologize for the <laughs> artwork here. This is Abbott's blueprint. This is my, yeah, <laughs> very quickly. So this is my front door. I don't know if you could see that into my living room. Uh, do you see any, any problems? I don't have stairs. Is this so a large window right that's here? That's a large window okay. looking well, into a garden. Well, one of the problems in your house is that from this door here, the energy could go straight out this <gasps> large window. So you want to keep it for yourself because okay. that's your money and your health. So I would recommend that you place a large plant here okay. or again hang a wind chime in between this door and the window so this energy is symbolically dispersed and retained for you. I have a wind chime here, is that okay? That's actually very good because it stimulates energy for the entire house because the front door is the most important element in your house. Okay, I'm getting a plant though for this corner. <laughs> okay, so you're Definitely. already doing it. Well, no, I am now because okay. you just told me to. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> bamboo is a good one. A bamboo plant? Yes. Okay, it doesn't have to be real big, right? No, but uh, big and strong is also good. Okay. How about based on what Abba just drew there, uh, are there any th larger things that you would change? Like, would you recommend she knock out the back wall or something like that? Well, I definitely would say that it'd be stronger if she could move the couch so its back was not to the door. Really? Because okay. it almost blocks this entire sitting area here. You have to sneak around to kind of get in. I know you want to face the fireplace, so maybe if you put it here, you could address the door and see the fireplace. Interesting. And then if you wanted to also see your view, mm -hmm. you could put a large mirror here and bring that view in. So it's almost like another piece of nature over here as well. So mirrors are important as well then? Mirrors are good for expanding areas and for bringing in, especially if you have a view of water outside, if you can bring that inside, it brings in the wealth. Okay. Right. And Find you bring it. up a good point. A lot of this stuff is so simple, it doesn't require knocking down walls. It may require moving a chair or, or buying a plant. That's why it's called feng shui for dummies, because anybody <laughs> can do it. We have Angel on the line. Good morning, Angel. Good morning. What's your question? Well, first I want to say you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Um, my question is, my front door, I live in, upstairs overlooking a pool. And my front door is parallel to a big picture window. 
Okay. Is that going to affect the, the energy that's flowing in? Would it automatically go out, or would it just stay in the house? Are you saying it's right across from the window? No, it's, it's parallel to it. It's on the same wall. Oh, that's fine. No problem at all. Okay. That's, good. that's, that's the only question I that's have. It. And, and out overlooking the pool. So you can see the pool from your window? Yeah. Does that have anything? Well, there? that's actually good. It's a view of water, so mm -hmm. that's positive and can be an influence for wealth in Thank the family. You. You're right. Right. Thank right. you, Angel. Thanks, Angel. Good luck. Leah is next. Hi, Leah. What's your question? My question is, is that I'm in a, like, I spend most of my time in the bedroom because of the fact that it's a share rental and an apartment complex. And I've got bushes that are, like, right outside my window, but my bedroom door faces the window, too. Okay, are, is there anything I could do to change that to make it a little more different? Are the bushes blocking your window? No, actually, it's like a fence that blocks a duplex from the apartments, and there's like trees and bushes there. So your view is blocked when you look out? Yeah. Okay, so that can actually lead to you feeling stifled in both your love life and your career. So if you can hang a wind chime outside that window, it can stimulate some energy to move around. Or maybe if you put a large mirror or a nice picture of nature in your bedroom, then it can feel more expansive so you're not feeling like you're blocked in. Okay, well, I do have really big old antique mirror that's like facing the window. Okay, well, if the mirror is antique and actually has pitted or scarred, you'd probably want to change it for a new one. Okay. That can also be a problem. Okay. But I recommend a large picture of nature in your bedroom as well. Okay, what about uh, the wind chimes being inside the window? Like inside right is fine in... as well, too. That would okay. help. All right. Thanks, okay, thank you. Thanks, Leah. Thanks, Leah. Jason's on the line now with a question. Jason? Hi, everybody. Hello. Um, I, right when I walk into my door, because it's a small, like, really old house, Right when I walk into my door, there's another door. Does that so matter or anything? So it's like a, it's like a storm door or something? Yeah. Or? Like a door to another room. Because it's a really old, small house. Right, so that can actually block your career. So what I recommend is to hang a faceted crystal ball between those two doors. Or again, you could put a wind chime there to stimulate energy moving there. Because if you have to enter or exit by two doors, it does block your progress. OK, thank you. Right. Good luck, Welcome. Jason. Okay, bye. Uh, all right, uh, Melody's on the line. Hi, Melody, what's up? Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm calling regarding the wealth section in my home, which happens to be in my master bedroom. The southeast corner is but a sliding door and a closet door where they meet. And your question is? How do I fix the wealth section? <laughs> okay, so you have an exit door in your bedroom? Yes, the southeast corner is a sliding glass door that also meets with a closet door. So anytime you have an exit door in the bedroom, that means that money or the relationship can leave. So you definitely would want to put a, a plant in front of that door or hang a wind chime in front, front of the door to keep that energy inside for you. What about the um, crystal, hanging the crystal there? That would also be good, too. Because the plant wouldn't be good because that's the sliding glass door. So you don't want to walk into the plant going outside, you know? It's better if you don't use the door, but if you have to, the crystal ball is a good substitute. Don't use the door, maybe reverse it so it opens more into the room than more it meets at the corner. If it's an easy reversal, that's fine, but if you have to do a lot of tearing up or remodeling in the bedroom, that's not so good. So a crystal ball is an easy solution without an investment. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, we have uh, another example here. We have a little diagram. We're not artists here at Good Day Sacramento, so you have to <laughs> apologize oh, that's for that. pretty good. This is pretty detailed. This is from uh, Nicole in our assignment desk. This is her front door. Can you see this? Sure. Front door, entry hall. Then she has a chair there, and that, I believe, is a window. So what do you see? And it's an older house. It's a 19, yeah. what, 27 house, she said, built in 27. So she has stairs leading up to the front door, and then a tight entrance, which she said is dark, and then also blocked leading in right when you walk in. So that means it's very difficult for her to come in and leave. She has to go around several obstacles, and when she comes home, she has a hard trip going up. So I recommend that she put lights here, or even some green vines coming up the stairway so that it feels much more welcoming and alive. And if she could move some of this furniture away from the front door, she could enter and leave much more easily, thereby enhancing her career. And as you said, the stairs go right out the door, so she definitely needs a wind chime then. A wind That's chime fine. here would help to really stimulate her career okay. and all the energy coming into her home and life. All right, very good. good deal. And do you still go around the country and uh, uh, advise and uh, counsel people on feng shui? Yes, nationwide and other countries. And good also doing the classes and consultations. And a lot of people seem like they have a little bit of knowledge about feng shui. A lot of our callers that, that phoned in, right. they knew a little bit about what they were talking about. And it's definitely increasing. It well, is, yeah. Which room is the wealth room, that sort of thing. Well, if you want to find out more, there are several different ways of doing it. Of course, we said that uh, David Daniel Kennedy has a terrific book out. It's called Feng Shui 
for dummies. And uh, there it is. Just look for it in the bookstores. And uh, you can also, uh, there's a phone number, of course, you can call to 1-888-470-2727. Very good. Thank you so much. Here's a look at the, the book right here. Yeah. Good seeing Thanks you again. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thanks for coming by.